live from downtown Morganton. It's the Crosley Show. Okay, uh, somebody said uh, that the starter and stuff bigger than the engine on these Crosleys. They are. They weigh a lot more. Here's their generator. And here's the water pump that it turns on the other side. And uh, here's one of the early steel blocks. Uh, 120 something pieces of metal, copper brazed in a nitrogen uh, oven. And uh, it weighs not very much. This weighs more than this. There's a crankcase that fits on the bottom. It's got all your crankshafts and and all this other good stuff, pistons and stuff. It's aluminum, so it don't weigh nothing either. But this is this is the 26 horsepower Crosley steel block. They later on when they found out that that they would uh, rust that on the inside, where this especially was uh, soldered together copper braised. Uh, somebody tried to fix the leak here and and uh, they started failing. All the antifreeze at the time was salt based and uh, that eat these things up easy. Another, it had a cam up here, oversight, overhead cam that was driven from a shaft and some gears here. No, cam, no timing belt, no, no chain to mess up. It was really a simple and, and uh, pretty worry-free design except for the steel part and when they started making these blocks out of uh, cast iron they were really reliable after that and uh, Mr. Crosley and his bunch designed these valves to have these rotators and every time a valve gets pushed down it turns a little bit and that keeps them from having burnt valves which is the what they did back in the day everybody had burnt valves and this stopped that. That was a very good invention. I don't know if anybody ever caught on to that or not. But that's that's uh, that's what we're dealing with with 26 horsepower, 77 cubic inch engine, and uh, it's you know uh, nothing hardly fits this thing. It's so tiny, so tiny. Let me see if I can find a tape measure. Yeah. yeah, it's about two and a half inch bore. And probably about a two and a half inch stroke squared. So, pretty high revving engine. And, uh, this is a little, excuse me, this is a little fan that goes here. Of course the water pump fits back there behind the generator. And here's one of the performance intakes in a, a new carburetor from Chuck Kohler in Allentown, Pennsylvania. He does these great. He even letters these things. Just like that. He letters them. I mean, he is a craftsman. And uh, of course, this is a performance intake. Which any performance you can add to 26 horsepower is a great idea. But they sit right there, of course, on the other side, and then the exhaust goes in behind it. But I just thought I'd share that with y'all. And. Uh, I don't know, any questions you have, just holler back at me, and I'll try and make something up. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you. Woohoo!